Hey guys, William Mayak, creator of Jazz Edge. Welcome to lesson 38 of Jazz Piano Daily. This is part two to my Fly Me to the Moon Jazz Chord Shell lesson. All right, so uh, here's the music. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it from the beginning though, and then also play this new sp uh, section. All right, so let's break this down. You can see and hear that I'm being a little bit loose with the rhythm, right? Uh, sometimes I'll anticipate, like right in here, I anticipated that E7. Uh, sometimes I'll, you know, kind of play around with where I place these notes. So always look at the written out melody as being somewhat open to interpretation, okay? Just like every jazz singer doesn't sing Fly Me to the Moon exactly the same way, Frank Sinatra will sing it one way, Ella Fitzgerald will sing it a little bit differently. Um, and that's perfectly natural. So anytime you see written music like this, always take it with a grain of salt. All right, so anyway, um, so, so we have the, we're starting with that C sharp, right, from part one, okay? And then we go to D minor and then G7, C, F, E, A. It's a nice little uh, reharmonization in there, I like that. All right, and then moving on. A lot of times I like playing this as a quarter note triplet versus Right, that's, that seems a little bit boring, right? Right, so a lot of times I'll do it more like this. And so a lot of times I'll play this more like this. I'll put a dotted quarter note there and then uh, tie that over into like that. So. And again, a lot of times I'll anticipate that this as well. I'm not going to change what's written here, but just know that you can anticipate these chords, of course. Okay. All right. So let's uh, go back. I'm going to just play this a couple of times. I want you to just play it along with me. These uh, three lessons with the chord shells are really just designed for you to have some, uh, you know, um, uh, more practice with the chord shells and with the melody, and then also just to get down the melody of the song. Remember, if you don't like this song, that's fine. You don't have to be in love with this song, but I do suggest that you work on this song for right now because uh, we're going to be utilizing this for the next uh, few lessons. All right, so let's try this again. If you want, just do the right hand, or if you can, do it hands together with me. this out now, what I can start to do I can play around, I can have some fun with this melody. See how I can... The Grayson on there. But when I 
anticipate that. All right, now in the B minor seven flat, uh, the B minor seven flat five to E seven. Let's take a look at what's going on down there. All right, so we're going to focus our attention right down here for right now. All right, so left hand is root seven. Right hand, I'm playing third in the flat five for the chord. Just filling out the chord. I got nothing else going on in that measure, so I might as well do something with the right hand. Fill out the chord in the E seven, root three in the left hand, seventh and root. I can anticipate it. Uh. All right, so now let's just try going through this uh, one more time. Okay, and this time what we're going to do is I'm going to speed it up a little bit. All right, try and get it a little bit faster. So let's bring this up to 120 this time. And we'll play this whole thing. All right, so you see how I brought in those quarter note triplets right in here? Okay, we had those quarter note triplets. All right, so anyway, what you want to do is you want to be able to play the first part into the second part, right? So let's try going through it. We're going to go through it slower now this time. I'm going to put it on 100 beats per minute. We'll start at the very beginning. We're going to do the first part, and then we're going to move into the second part, okay? I can't put all of the sheet music on the screen right now while we're doing this. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to move this off to the side, and I'm going to show you this is where you can go and grab the sheet music, all right? So play it along with me. Okay, and then we'll have some fun with this. Here we go. So if you're having difficulty with it, don't worry. Take your time with it, right? There is no rush. You don't have to try and finish all of this in a day. Eight measures of music might be a lot for you to learn in a day. So if it takes you a few days, don't worry. Absolutely fine. All right, so like I said, if you would like to get the sheet music for this lesson and the first 45 lessons uh, for Jazz Piano Daily, just go back to jazzpianodaily.com or take a look at that card that just popped up in the uh, top right. And please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that good stuff. That helps me out, and I appreciate it. So thank you so much. And that's it for me. I will see you guys in part three tomorrow, and we'll finish up the last eight measures of the song before we start moving into improvisation. See you soon.